Welcome along to another paintless dent removal video with me, Martin Sadler, and I'm going to show you how I repair this Ford Fiesta rear quarter panel with glue from start to finish. Okay, let's look at this dent in a bit more detail. So we'll roughly mark it out, so top to bottom and side to side. Okay, there's also some secondary damage here. So there's a crease running horizontally at the bottom. But we'll look at the main dent for now. So first of all, we need to see what the panel's made from. So I've put a ruler on there. It's a magnetic one, so we can see that it's steel. Okay. Next, we need to see how big it is. So it's 110 mil. Okay, any other factors? Well, there's a body line here. So that's been damaged. So it's classed as a body line repair. Okay, and how am I gonna get behind there or how am I gonna uh, repair this? So because it's on a rear quarter panel, they are quite restricted access. Sometimes a single skin and you can just get your fingers in and pop it out. But I know for sure that on this one, it's, um, it, there's an inner arch. I could take out the filler cap, but I'm not going to, so there's a little bit of work involved and I don't want to damage the rubber. Also, I could take out the tail light for access, but realistically, the line of sight, I'm not gonna be able to reach it anyway. So this is gonna be a glue pull repair. Okay, so those are the main factors that I need so I can estimate the damage and give my customer the price. The next thing I need to do is check that the paintwork is original. I'm sure it is, it's a brand new car, but just to make sure, I'm gonna be using the next Diag PTG. Okay, get an app as well. So just by placing it on there, it gives me a reading of 117. And if I check the other side, it should be roughly the same. So I'm confident that I can repair this with the glue pull system. I'm not gonna pull the paint off and uh, everything's gonna go to plan. The only thing that I am concerned about is this crease, the secondary crease, because it's triple skinned on there. Um, I'm gonna use the edge pliers to try and push it out from inside. If not, I'm gonna have to glue pull repair it. My customer is aware that this might not fully repair. Um, it's just, every dent's different. That's just how it is. But I am determined to make it as best as possible. And also, just another thing, the, um, the arch is also bent in as well. So if that needs to be pulled out with something uh, substantial like a Doda tool or something like that. But I'm gonna show you everything in a second. Okay, first things first, before I start glue pulling, I need to make sure that the, uh, the panel is clean uh, from any waxes or any kind of residue. So I'm gonna use G-Technique panel wipe and a clean rag, give it a good squirt, give it a wipe off. Okay, then using a heat gun. It's really cold today, got the jacket on. Give it a nice warm up. Lovely jubbly. Right, let's get the glue out and see what the first pull um, pulls out and then we can go from there. Let's see what kind of tabs I've got. Okay, it's a good one. Um, these are crease tabs. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick one of these on the body line first and uh, just see what comes out first. Also, we've got these tabs here, a good range there. But yeah, start off with these. So basically, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put some glue on there, stick it onto the body line, and then give it a pull. The hot glue I'm using is the Glexo Hot Melt Glue, and the tab is an original series gangrene crease tab. Using um, a slide hammer first, just slot it onto the tab there, put my finger there so it doesn't slip and go all over the place. Okay, and then a few pulls. Hey, look at that, that's good. <clears throat> Let's try another one. 
So at this time, I'm going to go down here a little bit. So using a smaller tab, there we go. I'm going to pop that onto there and see what happens. Right, here we go. Slide hammer on there again. Finger on the end. Have a little look, see how it's going. Back on again. Very good. So there, from a couple of glue poles, making really good progress already. What I'm going to do next is just tap this crowned area down, relieve some pressure, and then carry on with the glue pulling. So not the crown down, I'm going to be using the Crocarb knock down with the leather tip. This will move a lot of metal without popping any little dot marks in the panel. Um, it's really good and gentle. And also be using the Shane Jacks blending hammer. So what is a crown? This is an outward fold or a kink in the panel often found around the dense perimeter. And this holds tension which needs releasing. To fix this, I need to use a suitable tipped knockdown to carefully ease the fold down until I get a nice even reflection with no distortion. Right then, a bit more glue pulling. So I'm just going to pop a small crease tab right in this body line area, just see if I can get it looking a bit better and then just carry on down here. Okay, using this little crease tab. Let's go for another pull, just below the body line this time. There we go, pop that on there. See there's a nice bead just around the tab, all the way around. Okay, that means you've got enough glue on there. Give it about 10 seconds, something like that, uh, with this um, Glexo hot glue. And just keep touching the end, and once it stops sticking to your finger, it's about ready to go. And again, using the slide hammer. This damage is coming out really nice so far, but there is starting to be a bit of resistance, meaning that the glue is not really pulling the damage out. And that is partly because the, um, the arch is still bent inwards. So there's a lot of strength there. You've got the inner arch and you've got the outer arch all pushed in, just not wanting to move. So I'm going to be using the Doda. That's this thing. Okay. And it's, it's basically, it's a leverage device. So we pop that on the tire, pop that on the damage, and then we carefully pull it out. Like that. Get it all nice and warm so everything moves nice and easily. Okay. There we go, are on there. So I've just got a good line of sight there so I can see exactly what's in and, uh, and how it should be. So that's, that's the point where it starts to go in to there. Always be cautious as well of the alloy wheel. So I've always got my finger there just in case. Starting to move real nice, is that? It's maybe a bit difficult to see it on the camera, but that's now come out, looks spot on. Now the panel has been pulled out, now the arch has been straightened, it's relieved a lot of tension in this panel. So I can uh, carry on glue pulling, get it straightened up on this lower part, and then I'm going to change directions and carry on repairing. And uh, oh yeah, I need to tap these crowns down as well. Okay, looking good. So I'm going to change the uh, direction of repair now. Let's take a look then. There you go. So we've just got these high areas here. Okay, where the lines go tight. Again, all right on the body line there. Got this low at the top, a low there, 
and a low there. So these lows need to be pulled out and the highs need to be tapped down. Okay, so what I'm tapping these high, uh, high areas down with is just a, a standard knockdown really. It's a nylon Delwyn um, plastic, if you would, knockdown. It's not gonna damage the paintwork or anything like that. It's nice and solid and uh, it just nicely um, lays down all those high areas. Just, you can't hit it too hard, otherwise you will put little dot marks in the panel, which can be a nightmare to fix if you glue pull in um, a repair like this. Okay, back in with another crease tab, and this time I'm just gonna go above the body line like that. Plenty of glue on there. And that's where it's gonna go. Stuck pretty well, isn't it? Bob on. Okay, so I've spent about 20 minutes on this, lifted up the body line and tapped down the crowns. It's looking really good, but I am struggling to finish this area off and that's because of a secondary dent. This crease, it's just holding it in and that's to do with the glue on the panel. It's just pulling it inwards. So I'm gonna see how that moves with a bit of glue pulling and then finish it off. This green tab is my best all-rounder for general crease repairs. It's a black leg gangrene 38mm crease tab. Placing the crease tabs in the lowest part of this damage, I need to be really accurate, slightly high or slightly low. I'm just going to create more work for myself, which I really don't need at this stage. The repair is coming along really well, but I can't just stop at one or two pulls. I'm going to have to repeat this process many times over until I can reach that satisfactory finish. Look at that, that's come out really well. You can see that's where the crease started and that's where the crease ended. So there's a little bit more to do there, but look at that. And it's really straightened up this area as well. So it won't take much to finish this off now. So I'm just tapping the micro highs down around the creased area that I've just pulled up. Um, this knockdown isn't doing so well, so I'm gonna go with a, a sharper tip knockdown. Still plastic um, Delwyn tip. And this just gives me a, a more accurate tap. Okay, I'm going to use um, a crease tab, a smaller crease tab, whereas before I was using quite a thick crease tab. There you go, you can see the difference there. Okay. Pop a bead of glue on like that. Get it right on where the crease is, where that low area is. And then also for this, I'm going to be using a veneer lifter. Pop it on like that and then give it a few light squeezes. This handheld dent lifter or robo lifter is used for delicate glue pulling, where steady and control pulling of the glue tab is required. That has come out really nice. There you go. So what we're looking at here, well the lines, the reflection of the lines are pinching together, so that means it's slightly high. 
The crease tab has done its job by pulling that metal outwards. So now what I need to do is use a knockdown to tap it back down and blend it into its former shape. Okay, I'm really happy with how this crease has come out. I didn't think it would move as much as it did. So I've surprised myself. So let's take a closer look. There you go, that's where the crease was. And what I'll do, I'm just gonna move the light board. So I can, we can have a look at this flat part and just see what needs to be done next. Move the uh, camera down. So we've still got a little bit of a low there. That's not going to take a lot to fix now. And uh, we're nearly there. Okay, so I've changed the, uh, the direction of repair and I can see these low areas a lot clearer. So uh, a few more glue pulls and, uh, and see how it goes. Just giving that a real light um, knock with the slide hammer. We're not trying to really yank it out. Um, just want to do it a little bit. Just a little bit more to go there, look. Look at that, it's looking really good now. Use another crease tab. There we go, a little bit of glue on there. So this again doesn't need a lot of, uh, a lot of pulling force, just a tiny bit, because it's only a little ripple. That'll do. Spray with a degreaser, panel wipe. There we go. So I'm going to use another tap down, um, a root beer tap down. It's quite sharp. Just makes me a lot more accurate. The knocking down stage of any repair does take quite a long time because you've got to be really precise and accurate and of course careful but the end results are amazing. Let's have a look. This large round fabric disc is a quality control disc. I use this for estimating during the repair process and then checking the final finish. I'm happy with that. Let's tip this off. Let's have a look from the other side. Okay, I'm really happy with that. Gonna let you have a quick look first and then I'm gonna polish these marks off and uh, that's it. Let's swing this camera around and I'll show you what I see with a quality control disc. So basically this casts a reflection of those lines onto the panel. I'm looking for any kind of distortion or ripples, but this repair is looking fantastic. That is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. This dent was a bit tricky to repair actually. Getting the body line up nice and smooth and also this secondary dent, it did take a lot of fine tuning and tweaking to get right. But I'm really happy with the results and I'm sure my customer will be as well. If you did enjoy this video, it'd be great to get a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed already, please do because it really does help my channel grow. That's it for me. Take care and cheers. <laughs>